This is Andy from HowEFIWorks.com. Today I want to talk about creating a gear trace and gear charts in Megalog Viewer HD. The first thing we're going to do is create gear ratio, or call it GR. Then what we're going to do on step two is define that ratio as gear one through gear six. In our case, we are going to be working with a six speed. I would also like to create a formula for gear in Megalog Viewer. And last, we're going to do some gear charts so you can see what your motor and transmission look like and where you actually operate your motor. The first thing I want to do is go to Calculated Fields, Custom Field, and create one. We're going to type in, in the field name, GR, and in the formula, what I'm going to have is the vehicle speed sensor is less than 5, then show me the gear ratio of 0. Otherwise, behind the colon, RPM divided by vehicle speed sensor. Once you hit enter, it will ask you to reload and you'll get this. This is second gear, third gear, fourth. You went back to third, back to fourth. So what we're gonna do is drag the mouse from right here to right here to see what the average gear ratio, and you'll see it down in the bottom right corner. This particular car is 65.9. The easiest thing to do is just get a piece of paper, drag over your first gear range, see what this average is, then drag the mouse where it's nice and clean here. You'll get an average for second gear, you'll get an average for third, and on up the range. Just write it down on a piece of paper for the next step. The next thing we're gonna do is go to custom fields, add a custom field, and create one. I'm gonna do G3. All the gears will have to be done the same way. But you can see where I had G3 on the bottom are the gear ratio of 65.9. So what I did is created a field name G3 and put in 65.9. You'll do this for gear one through however many gears you have. Next, we want to create a new field called gear MLV. And this is after you've reloaded the software. And the way you read this is if the vehicle speed sensor is less than five mile an hour, I want to assume I'm in first gear. Otherwise, if the gear ratio is greater than 150, I'm also going to assume I'm in first gear. Then you go through all the other calculations. I'll leave a copy paste in the description of this video so you don't have to retype this. Then when you reload the software, here's what comes up. At the top, I'm showing vehicle speed and RPM. Vehicle speed's in white, RPM is in red. And you can see each shift as this guy is going up and down through the gearbox. He is literally testing his paddle shifter in this log. Here's my gear ratio that we had, but now we have this gear. And each gear represents, I believe this is second, third, fourth, third, fourth, and on down through the gearbox. And this happens to be where he actually got the sixth gear. You'll see a little bit of static just as he makes the shift, and what's happening is the software is having a little trouble figuring out what to do with the spike. Once you get fully into gear, it's just fine. Over here on the right, those really aren't downshifts. What that is is a little noise in the data, and we ended up getting a little bit of the wrong answer. It's no problem. We're working with averages. Now what we do is go to uh, skitter plots. On the horizontal axis, I've got RPM, vehicle speed sensor across the top, and gear MLV out in the color. Here's first gear. This is where he was sliding the clutch, trying to get the car uh, off from the stop. But here's our second gear trace, third, fourth gear trace, fifth gear trace, and a little bit of sixth gear in this case. If I redraw it and go ahead and extend all of these lines back, notice they all go through the vehicle speed of zero and RPM of zero. You would all come back to the same point. Also notice if I go back that previous screen, you can see in this case, the guy used very little of the RPM range in fourth gear, used more in fifth gear, but you can also get an idea with the number of dots where you spend most of your time. Also, how wide of range are you using of the power band in each gear? Now what I've done is taken RPM and vehicle speed again, but now I've chosen RPM per second. This is how fast we're pulling through each gear. And if you notice, I'm getting green of about 300 RPM per second as I'm climbing through fifth gear. And as I back out of the throttle, 
I'm getting negative numbers. This slight offset can be clutch slip, can be converter slip. In this particular case, it's just the delay that the vehicle speed has compared to the RPM readout in the ECU. This does happen to be MoTeC data, but this works on any system you happen to be working. Other things that you can do with this is possibly in first gear have as the color have it AFR to see if you're getting fuel starvation when you're accelerating hard. That maybe doesn't show up in fourth or fifth gear. Also in a long run, you could possibly be dropping fuel pressure. If you plot, plot fuel pressure, you might see fuel starvation on hard acceleration that doesn't show up in the higher gears. There's all kinds of things that open up at this point. If you notice, I have quite a few filters that I normally keep, but you could easily have one to rule out, I want to see only fourth gear, or I only want to see third gear, for example, and you, these filters work on any one of these screens. I want to take a moment to thank my friends at TunerStudio.com. These are the guys that develop Megalog Viewer HD, the software I use to analyze almost any data that is coming at me. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.